up until now everyone just knows the graphic works so they know the posters they know the what you can see in the background the vinyl covers but actually he's been involved with many many things he wrote uh, lyrics for songs of known songs from brazil he uh, made wrote many poems he developed many different theories about how mathematics is different how different ways of teaching chess so many things that were going to breaching into different fields but that before has never been put together or this this person as such who, who has made so many thoughts and ideas in different direction has never been brought together into into one or in one book and that was the main thing that we didn't thought ah, it would be really nice to also show to combine these different things the writing the poems the graphic design together with the theories and also like the music cupola or um, the songs and the music because it all connects for us it's very logical there's a very big parallel also to Oitisika and to Leah Clark because what he really did in the context of design and also thinking it's it's very much based on the anthropophagic manifesto and through that was created uh, uh, an aesthetic which became the aesthetic of Tropicalia so it took elements of modernism of things that were going on in Europe or in the United States psychedelia rock music the Beatles Rolling Stones which were a great influence also on two Brazilian musicians like Caetano Veloso and Gilberto Chill but he, he in Rogerio knew about these things in design he he's always been interested in them they bring elements from modernist typography which comes from Switzerland or from Germany but take them and absorb them and put them in a tropical context where colors are different, rhythm is different, music is more, plants grow faster, you know, the insects come faster from the forests interfering. So it's a different environment and this aesthetic is what Tropicalia did. It's an anthropophagic way of contextualizing this way back to Brazil, to the context here. <laughs> He was living here in the, in the 60s, no? And um, when basically you can also see some of the original posters from the uh, Parque do Flamengo when it was inaugurated. Um, he made the posters to announce it, which are very beautiful because they have a fish and then it says permanent exhibition of fish or a bird, permanent exhibition of birds. And a couple of years later was the, the event organized Apocalipopotese, which had Antonio Manuel, Li, Lia Pape, Eliotti Sica. It puts it very much into the context also of the surrounding of the mum. No? Um, at the time you can see the park which, where there's nothing and the, the parangoles were shown in a public space. They were, they were objects which were, the idea was to, to have them and handle them, that they are accessible and that they were activated by wearing. So it was very much also a statement against the institution or against the, 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 the government even. No? The idea is basically just that you have one big table which forms as a way of presenting an archive no? and a lot of printed matter. On the walls you have all the posters surrounding and on the table uh, objects which were mainly um, printed in magazines or books which were printed or like the, the album covers were printed many times in very high edition or no? they were reprinted when they were sold out so they are all objects which had a big circulation even if they didn't if like Flor de Mal this was a print run which was very low but still it's something that's printed and multiplied uh, um, through offset printing it's not a unique piece it's not a where it's just one you know or two which is what you normally see more in the context of a museum. In this case we're talking more about an archive, which are things which are reproducible or were reproduced. So people hand, you know, you, you basically touch them, you handle them and you use them. So the idea was of course to make a table which shows this um, and doesn't create this border of a, of a white trend, but it's more like a table where things are spread out on and you can make different associations. Oh, oh, oh.